YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, the American African. Today's day five of a 21 day water fast. Today, I feel um, I feel light on my feet. I feel energetic. I don't even feel like I'm water fasting. I think the bloating is gone, you know, from eating five days ago. And you know, just in general, I feel like I could accomplish anything today. You know, despite being in the midst of a storm. Am I? Am I in the midst of anyway, I just feel like I can accomplish anything today. But let's get it cracking, you know. Pour some of this nasty shit in there. Luckily today I got some room temperature water. So pour some of this room temperature water in there. I don't gotta use that much water. So, you know, I slept a lot yesterday, man. I told you, water fasting is quite, I don't want to say easy. Like, water fasting is never easy, but, <laughs> yeah, another story. Water fasting is quite easy, or I should say it's easier when you can sleep, you know. Sleep right through it. There's, there's no crime in it. There's zero crime. Sleep right through your fasting. Sleep as much as you can. Get it in. In fact, you'll burn more weight while you're sleeping than while you're awake. Don't ask me why. That's just... I'm about to use a word. I don't know if I should use it. That's cat... I can't even say, it. you know, the catabolism, whatever. But anyways... Yeah, man, I probably slept like... Although I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't sleep for a while, but I, I went to sleep again. You know, I probably slept like, if you include napping and everything, I might have slept eight hours. I thought it was more, but when I when I really thought about it, I was like, I kept waking up. But still, I feel good, you know. So I haven't worked out in like three days because my muscles were sore. Now my muscle, I don't feel it again, so... Today will be a workout day. I usually work out at like 6 p.m. I'm actually used to working out in the morning, right? But it's so weird. Now that the gym is right here in my house, right? It's not like I'm trying to avoid crowds. So I'd rather work out like after work, you know, after I take a nice nap. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I have an alarm set every day for 6 p.m. Today I probably will actually do it, you know. I still have this guy. I think I'm gonna return him, you know. I don't I don't know what happened, but I just don't have uh that same spirit I had. Like, yeah, I'm gonna use this thing. But it's really just because of the size of the thing. And it's like, do I really want to put that here in my house? Because it's not it's not like I can hide it somewhere. I got to, maybe if I get rid of some shit in my house, I I create some space. One day, I mean, when I get a bigger car and I can haul shit out of here. But, um, yeah, I mean, my spirits is up. As far as water fasting goes, and, you know, you got to manifest your destiny. So today will be a good day. No issues. Happy day, working out, getting through the fast, getting a lot of work done. And just making a plan for August, because tomorrow starts August, you know. Initially, I plan to travel in August, end of August. But um, I've canceled the plans. I want to stick to the water fast and just focus on me. In that sort of way, you know, health. Because if I, if I go on vacation, I'm just going to set myself back. You know, it's inevitable. As much as I like to say, oh, you know. Just don't go on vacation mode. Just go on vacation. It's not really possible. One of the biggest parts of vacation for me is eating, out, drinking, chilling, you know. So, yeah. I've also been thinking about Las Vegas again. Like, I miss Vegas, man. I definitely wouldn't go at this time of the year. But, man, I could see me going to Vegas again end of the year. I don't know that I'm going, but I'm just saying I can see it. I miss Vegas. 
And it's crazy because when I went to Vegas, it was dry. Like I didn't um I didn't drink until the last day. <laughs> Three hours before my flight, that's when I drank. That's crazy. I was there for a whole week. Yeah, hey, I didn't drink. I didn't gamble. I didn't party. I was chilling and I enjoyed it. So, you know, I'm thinking about vacation still, you know. I don't know. Hopefully September. But you see, in life, it's just, it's just always good to have something to look forward to, you know? It's always good to put your mind to, towards a vacation, towards something sunny, something fun, something to be excited for, and just plan towards it, you know? Hopefully, I get my weight down further this month or in August. And, and you know, I begin to fit into some of my old clothes. But I'm, you know... I'm one month in, you know. <laughs> I fasted for 30 days out of the last, what, 37 days? I mean, I fasted for 35 days out of the last 37 days, you know. <sighs> We're about to add another 15 days, 16 days to that. Believe it or not, you probably done the math. But I only have 16 days left, almost two weeks left. I've almost completed one week. It went by very fast. Yeah, it went by fast. I'm happy with the results. I'm feeling light and feeling good. I just I just don't have the look yet, but it's coming, you know. It's coming. By the end of this by the end of August, I expect to look in the mirror and see the difference. Like I, I see the difference, though. I, I am seeing the difference. I'm just not seeing a lot of difference yet. But I feel like by the end of August, I'll see a lot of difference. You know? Um, I always talk about extending the water fast. Being that I have, like, 16 days left. And I look, I'm looking at the calendar for August right now. I go on call in August, the middle of August. I don't know, but I may extend... Let me not say it. If it happens, it happens. But yeah. Yeah, I go on call middle of August, but I don't go on call in September. So I'm just like trying to plan around it. But yeah, I don't have any summer plans now. I'm chilling. And I'm just going to keep working on my weight. And look forward to fall. Fall, going back outside, running, jogging, walking, something. You know, well, it's the morning of day five. I don't really plan to have any updates. I might go to the movie theater. I've been looking at the, um, you know, with movie theaters, you can see like the seating and shit. I'll be like looking to see when is it not packed? When is it not packed? Sometimes in the middle of a day on a Monday or a Wednesday or Thursday. You can catch it, like, free, open, just a couple people in there. Because everybody at work. But it's the summer, so it's a little different. And it's a lot of box office movies out right now, you know. You got Barbie, you got Oppenheimer, you got Mission Impossible. You got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles about to come out. It kind of already came out. So, you know, the movie theater is jumping right now, but I don't know. Yesterday, I felt hunger. Like, I legit felt hunger yesterday. I was hungry. I wanted to... I won't say I wanted to eat, but... I actually felt hunger. That's like the first time in like a month. Like, I legit felt hungry. Like, my stomach didn't growl, but I felt it in my stomach. Like, I could use food. I think that's probably people's biggest fear when it comes to water fasting is being hungry. When I'm hungry for a long period of time, then I feel like I'm starving myself, you know. But when I don't feel hungry, I don't feel like it's starvation at all. Luckily, I don't feel hungry anymore. You know, I've been drinking water, but the amount of water I need from when I began fasting 
in the, in the end of June till now has changed. I don't need as much water anymore, you know? It's kind of a weird feeling. Um, drinking water, replenishing electrolytes. Now that I'm on day five, I do have to start thinking about replenishing electrolytes. But again, my snake juice mix for this fast is just going to be water and salt and apple cider vinegar. No, pat no potassium. Occasionally, I might have some magnesium. Occasionally, I might have some vitamin B. You know, occasionally. But I'm mostly focused on salt. You know, for my snake juice. I won't be having potassium anymore because I learned that the muscle straining, cramping that I was having was due to too much potassium. Because I haven't had the issue since I stopped taking it. So I know now huh, the effects of too much potassium. You see, I've been learning a lot of shit through water fasting. How many people can say they know how it feels when they have too much potassium? You know, how many people other than diabetics can say they know what it's like to have low blood sugar? Hypotension, hypertension, like all these things I'm learning, I'm experiencing it firsthand, whether I like it or not. But I also am learning how to prevent it, which is more important. I'm learning a lot about the body. I'm learning a lot about the body. Magnesium, sodium, water, apple cider vinegar, vitamin B. Very important. I didn't really used to know the importance of vitamin B. You know, you could take B50, you could take B100. But I, um, after reading about refeeding syndrome over the weekend... <laughs> I learned that uh, refeeding syndrome happens as a result of low electrolytes, all right? Or having no electrolytes for an extended period of time and then reintroducing food back into your system. You know, I used to always wonder why do people always talk about refeeding syndrome? I never have it. It makes sense why I don't have it. It's because I take vitamin B, and I take electrolytes while I water fast. So I don't have a deficiency in vitamin B or electrolytes when I'm water fasting or when I'm coming out of a water fast. It's consistent. So moral of the story, if you're fasting more than one week, snake juice might be the way to go. Do some research on refeeding syndrome and snake juice. You know, Reddit. Reddit has a great fasting subreddit where you can pick up a lot of good information. That's what I do, man. I just, I just read the FAQs of Reddit. That's how I've been fasting for four plus years. Nothing special. I've read a lot of books, too. Like, I have books from a lot of YouTube doctors, you know. These people that we used to glorify, I learned that they... I mean, they're cool and shit, but they're really just authors, you know? They're really just authors. No disrespect to them, but that's just how I see it, you know? I'm not anti-doctor or anything like that, but when it comes to, like, obesity, I just haven't met a doctor that understands it the way I understand it. They probably understand it better than I understand. Don't get it twisted. But know, know how to work with me with it. You know what I'm saying? But that's life. That's life. So, yeah, day five. It's going to be a good day. We're manifesting it. And uh, I'll catch y'all on day six. It's me, your boy, the American African. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.